today I'm going to be doing a movie review of Me Before You! So this movie came out on June 3rd. It's an adaptation of the book Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. This movie was just so amazing. I heard that Jojo Moyes actually wrote the screenplay for this movie and I could totally tell that she did because the movie was so, so accurate. Like they didn't change anything. They maybe changed like a couple like really minor things that were not really that important that was okay with them changing. It was just such a good movie and just the way they filmed it was just beautiful. Like all the cinematography was just beautiful. When they showed England, they just showed beautiful shots of England and France and Switzerland and the island they went to was just so beautiful and cinematic. The casting was amazing. All of the actors they cast for the roles played their roles so well. I don't think they could have cast better people for the roles. They were so amazing. So that's all for my spoiler free review. So if you have not seen the movie, leave now. Goodbye not spoil people. Goodbye. Okay, so Amelia Clark played Lou and she was so amazing. I loved her. She was so bubbly and energetic and definitely exactly how I imagined Lou and she just played her so well. I was just so happy with the casting. They did her fashion so good in the movie. I was like, can I have her wardrobe? I want her wardrobe because like she has amazing clothes. And then Sam Claffin played Will Trainer. He was just so amazing as a Will. He just played him so well. He really got like all of Will's like little moods and all his little like habits and expressions. He just did Will so well. And then Matthew Lewis played Patrick, who is actually Neville Longbottom in the Harry Potter series. And I think he did a really good job playing Patrick. The only thing is I feel like um, Patrick was a lot nicer in the movie than he was in the book. In the book, he was a, such a douchebag and such a jerk. And he, in the end of the book, he ended up telling everybody about Will and that was not in the movie. So I don't know if it was like the actor playing him nicer or if the director was like, oh yeah, let's play Patrick nicer because he's such a jerk in the book. So I don't know, but he was a lot nicer. And then Jenna Coleman played Lou's sister. And oh my God, Jenna Coleman plays Clara Oswald on Doctor Who. And I am like a crazy Whovian. So when I found out she was in this movie, I was like, I don't care, I'm watching it. And she was so amazing as her role. The only thing is that in the book, there was a lot of like conflict between Lou and her sister. And in the movie, you don't, I don't even think you saw any of it. Um, I'm kind of happy about that because like I really love Jenna Coleman and I didn't really want to see her being acting like such a brat like she did in the book So I was kind of happy about that. Oh my god And then the actor who plays Nathan, I don't even know who he is But like he was really attractive. I was like what the heck I did not imagine like you like all attractive in the book He just walks in the screen like in his first scene in the movie He just walks in and he's like wearing like um a, sh a short sleeve shirt And then you can see that he's like a little buff too and it was just like I was not ready for this. Why is Nathan like really attractive? Like what? I really, really loved seeing Will and Lou's progression of their relationship on the screen. It was just so cute just watching them like meet for the first time and like Will just being like really mean to her but then them developing into this beautiful relationship. It was just so beautiful to see on screen. The Bumblebee tight scene was just done so well. I love when Will gave her the Bumblebee tights. Well, technically she got them. And then she, then she opened them and she got all hot. And she literally like jumped like she literally like jumped and she was so happy and giddy and all excited about it. It was just so so cute. I loved it so much. And then the wedding scene. The wedding scene was my all-time favorite scene in the book. And in the movie, they just did it so well. I love when they showed that like Will like brought her on her wheelchair and he brought her like around and like around the place and then up to the dance floor. It was just so so cute and then when they went on the dance floor and L Lou was like hey let's go dance L L I bet everybody's gonna be like super appalled and then they like zoom in on like some of random guests faces and they're like really annoyed about them going on the dance floor that was funny I loved it and then later and then later she talked to like that random lady in the book it was different this lady is like an expert on quadrupolevics and she talks to Lou about like Will's condition and like how she's handling him and everything and I think they changed it in the movie to keep with the lightheartedness of the scene and also because they had a really long conversation in the book so they have to condense it but I really love that scene in the in the movie it was really funny where she was like oh yeah Will's a good guy you keep him and I should know because like I've had four marriages and counting that was really funny. I actually really liked that scene. And all the scenes when they went to the island were just so, so beautiful. Just 
just the island itself was just gorgeous. I was like, oh my god, I want to go here. And just all the scenes are just so beautiful. And one of my favorite scenes from the book is when they were cuddling and watching the storm. And and, and the, that was just done so well in the movie. Will is like, no, just leave the door open. I want to see the storm. And then he's like, can you stay? And then they cuddled and then they watched the storm. It was so cute. Oh my god. I just, I love them together so much. And they just did such a good job with their relationship in the movie. So I actually went to go see this with a, a group of a bunch of my friends. Friends. and when when Will died and like everything happened all of us were just like bawling our eyes out and like trading tissues <laughs> like it was just like a group of us just crying and then you could hear everybody else in the theater crying too like it was just like a crying session I was really sad that they didn't put the quadriplegic support group in the movie because I really like that in the book so in the book there's this like support group where it's like an online forum website thing where like people they post things and they like chat with people who are quadriplegics or people who take care of quadriplegics and um Lou was part of this and she had like friends on there and they would help her come up with like activities to that Will would be able to do and she just kind of like created like a support group through that and I really like that in the book and there's this one scene in the book right before she goes to uh right before she goes to see Will in Switzerland so she arrives in Switzerland and she goes to the hotel and then as she leaves the hotel and she goes to a computer and she turns on the internet and she goes to the support group and she talks to one of the people and he's like and she tells him he's a quadruple and she tells him I'm in Switzerland and he instantly like understands and he knows like what's happening and he's just like there for her and that was just that was just such a touching scene for me in the book and I was just so sad that it couldn't make it in the movie but I understand that it couldn't make it because that was a lot of backstory of like having to build up the support group and that would have taken up a little bit too much time so I understand why it was taken out I'm just sad that it couldn't have been part of the movie and after that scene will die and I was just bawling my eyes out I think I cried even more in the movie than I did in the book I think the reason is because I still was not over Will's death so I, st I was crying because I wasn't over Will's death and then on top of that seeing him die all over again just like was like a fresh wound so I was just bawling my eyes out after he died it switches to the Paris scene where she's in the cafe and she's reading his letter and that scene was just so beautiful I was crying through it it was just beautiful I loved seeing Paris like you could tell they actually went to Paris or maybe it's like a 3d thing I don't know I feel like they actually went to these locations though because like their cinematography was so beautiful that I feel like they didn't recreate it digitally I feel like they actually went there I don't know but it was so beautiful when she and then when she gets up and think she goes to like the perfume place and then you see she's wearing the bumblebee tights that was just so cute and I was just crying and and then the movie ended and I was just like bawling my eyes out and all my friends just like stayed until the end of the credits because all of us were just like crying so hard and we were like, okay, we need to like calm down and just like stop crying. And just this movie was just such an amazing movie. Not only was it such a good movie, but it was just such a beautiful and amazing and accurate book to movie adaptation. What can all book to movie adaptations be like this? Like I wish every single one was like this because this movie was beautiful. It was so accurate and just everything. I loved it so much. So that's all for this video. Comment below what you thought about this movie. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section below. My Goodreads and my Bookstagram are down below. I hope you enjoyed. Au revoir!